Juma Shaban was separated from his family three years ago due to the insecurity in the Democratic Republic of Congo. In April 2019, the 24-year-old was able to be reunited with his mother and five siblings in Kampala with help from well-wishers. I had the water, the pictures, my family, and I met with uh, some people. They said that uh, they, they met with my mom and they know her. They had uh, her number, phone number, and they used to go to call her. And they, they, he told me where he is. And they take uh, a bus, which I, it brought me in, in Kampala. He chose to join his mother in the tailoring business, carrying on a skill she had taught him while he was in Congo. This skill has been improved through a free tailoring course offered to refugees. I went, uh, I went uh, to the fashion design at IRC because it was free it's for, uh, for the, the refugees. Rose Pipira, a 20-year-old orphan, moved to Uganda with her siblings and her aunt from South Sudan in June 2016. She joined the Pagirinya refugee settlement in Ajumani district and learned how to make crafts. Later, she joined a women's group called Happy, where they make and sell crafts with their fast materials being a donation. We were supported by UNSRIWF, they trained us something of two weeks. No one is going to take care of me, I'm going to take care of myself, by myself, even my brothers and sisters. Business does not come without challenges. For Shaban, it has been having clients make orders and not return to pick them up. So the one who was going to what, eh, to spend your money to buy the material, and they said that when you're finished, I will come to, ta to take it without uh, uh, leaving even the water, they are depositing. To be a refugee, it doesn't mean that you, you can't do anything, but God the cre uh, creates us with the talent inside us. Supported by UNHCR and partners in different initiatives such as the Refugee Christmas Market, the fourth of its kind, they are provided with avenues to be able to make a living during the festive period. Some have had their things taken by KCCA, yeah, that's true. But that's because it's not being done the proper way. So what we're trying to do with this market and other ideas is to organize them in groups, have them registered as companies, and then do business the right way. Juma Shaban and Rose Pipira are just a few of the refugees trying to move forward from the past they were dealt and forging a future for them and their families. Rita Kanya, NTV Tonight.